What's up, y'all? I'm in my wife's closet. I need to borrow a few things. I'm hoping she don't mind. Let's see. We got the Gucci zebra skin. We got a Prada bag. I got this joint in Japan for. Let's see. Uh, another Gucci uh, coach. Louis Chanel. Gucci and Burberry. All right, that should be it. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not surely die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees in the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? Yeah. Nah, same old saying. Just, you know, up here on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you better talk to your daughter. She on that computer looking at shit she ain't got no business looking at. What? Janelle would not do that. Marcus be watching porn all the time and she come and tell me. Well look, if Janelle ain't do it, then you did it. Or Marcus is gay. Now which one is it? Well you know I ain't do that. So I'm trying to eat dinner and forget about the whole situation. Cause it's the last thing I'm trying to think about. When Tanya comes in disturbing me. Look, I just talked to Janelle. She said she don't know how that happened. And she wanna come and let you know. Alright, sit in. So then Janelle walks in talking about, I don't know how that happened, but it wasn't me. Get out of my sight. Now why you had to talk to her like that? Alright, come on. I tried to leave it alone, but I guess I'm the damn fool. It got up there somehow. How come when I type in National Geographic? the words naked men come up in the history. Well, sometimes when you type in stuff, it automatically comes up for you. <laughs> yup, yeah, mm-hmm, somebody typed that. Now, Janelle, you're gonna be accountable for what you do. I'm gonna ask you one more time. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Did you do this? Yeah, I did it. Now go upstairs. Now usually, when Janelle comes in from school, she gives me a hug and tells me how her day went. Now Tuesday rolls around, no Janelle. Wednesday, no Janelle. And it wasn't until Thursday, while I'm watching the first 48, that it hit me. Janelle, where are you? Just like Adam and Eve, hiding from the father. So I go to her room and tell her, we all make mistakes. And like the father, I forgive her. Now come back to me. So now we're gonna take the girls out and give them something to do. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Ed. Go right to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Ed. The reason why I took the girls horseback riding it's basically because I feel these horses can be a little intimidating. So what I think it does is help the girls build some kind of character and give them some kind of self-esteem. Helps them from becoming all timid and shy. So in the future, when that handsome young man walks up to them with a pocket full of cash, they don't get all gullible and starry-eyed and start fucking for handbags. <laughs> Thank you.
This is my goddaughter, Kamani Gonzalez, and I love her too much to not train her up correctly. Hey, babe. Come check out my new blog. You gotta see this. Let me know what you think. What the? Night, what I seen made my life change. Huh. 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 Made my life change. I was wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked.